Just looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AOEAH.com. They have super cheap coins. You can get a million for such a steal. Head on over, and of course, if you use code Poodle, you can get a discount off your order at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Saturday Legends as well as the Legend Free Solo token, which is finally up in time. You guys probably didn't even notice that. I mean, well, probably a lot of you didn't notice it if you've been doing it, but some of you guys may have forgot this was the week. As well as some of you may have even just started later in the year, so you don't know what I'm talking about. So I will show you guys in a second. I'll go over to the set and do it and show you guys everything. Now, personally, guys, I did not do it. Now, I'm not a fan of this one. I mean, it's great for a lot of people, but the problem is, then you spend all that time just to get like an 89 overall Bruce Matthews. Like, it's something that happens. Now, we do have Mutt Rewards here, so I'm going to open these real quick to start. Make some pretty cool. There's got Daniel Jones and Trey Lance. I will take that out of the first pack. Just some cool names there. Byron Jones, you have a most feared player. We have Alton Robinson. We have a rookie, and we have an elite here. So we have 83 Brandon Scherf. Okay, I mean, I guess it was, this was decent for the first, for the second round. We have a legend, low legend here. Would be cool to pull a full legend here on full legend Saturday, of course. We get another low legend, 89 Walter Jones. Out of okay, there's a new one. Walter Jones just came out today, so I got I got one of the top, maybe one of the mid pieces, right? That's pretty cool. Um, I'll, I guess I'll take that. Now we have the EA Play Zero Chill Pack. Just gonna come through. Everything was delayed from yesterday. I wasn't getting anything. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of this. Zero Chill Pack. Can we pull one of the top players here? Let's see a cool animation. We have 80 Brandon Williams, a Superstar MVP, and a Zero Chill player here with a little flame. That is way too much going on for a player that bad. All right. Zero Chill Login Reward. Here's our daily one, guys. That's just a lot of stuff when you log in right now. If you guys were backed up from yesterday. All right, this should be the free uh, snowflakes. Yes, it is. Let's mark that. Let's quick sell that. I have the one from yesterday, too. I got to quick sell that one. I think I just skimmed over it. Um, so, guys, we have the new legend. I'm going to show you guys that. Then I'll show you guys some of the sets and stuff as well. But the legends are they're, they're pretty cool. I mean, uh, Derek Thomas is, of course, a good one. Um, Walter Jones is the one right here. Let's see what piece I got. I got a... Oh, a second. Oh, that was the worst one, wasn't it? Oh, wait, am I, am I going backwards here? Yeah, okay. That was one of the worst ones. Never mind. That's crazy. You, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you open up your full legend pack today, you could pull a player that's the same overall as one of the worst pieces in the Walter Jones set. That's kind of scary to me. It definitely is a little scary to me. Um, but we got Walter Jones, we got Derek Thomas. We're going to go check out their sets, their prices, and everything. Now, guys, like I was saying for the legends, here you go. Here's the exchange. Here's the legend token set. So, if you guys go through this, if you complete all 40 of these, you will go ahead and get yourself a boss legend. Now, you need 40. Mind you, right? 40 of these. So, let's go over to the solos. Let's check them out. Now, here's the thing. If you didn't start playing them from back when they first came out, it's kind of a headache. It's gonna be a headache, right? I mean, it's not. It's not something like you can just. It's not something that. You know, it's not something enjoyable, right? Now, if you look here, they have release 17, all the way from release one. So you, theoretically, you can go through, and play all these. Now the problem with these guys, they're all technically. There's no. They're not objective based. Like they just start you at the time, and you have to just go. Now it seems for the most part it's all third quarter, so they probably take no longer. I would say. I'd say each one probably takes like 10 minutes total, like the whole set, right? Five minutes per, I'd say about 10 minutes. So let's say from where I'm at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150. Probably take about two hours and 30 minutes for me to actually go through and complete these. Could be quicker, could be a little bit longer. Somewhere in that ballpark though. I'd say on average, it'll take between two and three hours. Now to do the whole set, right? Cause I already had uh, the first, let's see the first three done. Well, I'd say anywhere between two and three hours to do them all from scratch. Not horrible, but definitely not enjoyable, but you can go ahead and still technically do it, which is the interesting part, because of course, there's been times where this kind of stuff, you couldn't even, you wouldn't even get it from this, right? Like they would disappear after the week, and if you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Uh, is it worth it? Like I'm saying, that's the problem. You could really just pull some trash. Well, let's go check out the, oh, we're gonna, let's check out the block real quick. I'm sure you guys like the worst end of what you could pull from this free legend. Um, this is the problem. You could really pull some garbage from this, and that is terrifying, because like, you could spend right now three hours to do this, right? And pull an 89 overall player, and then it goes for let's see how much it goes for i know it doesn't go for almost anything but okay let's see what's up we need a full we need a full oh god finding a full legend and this is gonna be tough right now just feel, okay demarcus where let's just say 32k Darrell Reeves, 32k you could literally pull a full legend right now and spend three hours to make 32k after reduction you're making under 30k that's absolutely absurd to me that's the problem now on the high end of the spectrum of course you could always pull something in this area you know, this is new Walter Jones and new Derek Jones, 600k, you know, let's say you don't pull the L and LTD, you pull one of the lower ones, it could be like 500, 400k, that's still, that's pretty good, that's pretty good return on only three hours worth of work, but I don't think that's going to be the case, right, so it's tough, let's check out their stats, 
Let's go through. Let's see some of the stats that we got. We got working with here. Walter Jones, right? I mean, sorry, Derek Thomas, her outside linebacker. I thought I clicked on Jones. Pretty good. He's always going to be a good card. I feel like we've gotten a bunch of this card the last two years. Like, I feel like I've seen him a lot. Great, great for him though. He was a great player. Uh, 91 speed and three so. Athleticism obviously is pretty good. 91 strength, 91 tackle. Great. 93 play rec. Here's where we get. Here's where it gets serious. 95 block shed, 95 power move, 95 finesse move. We're all waiting for that guy to get to 99 finesse move or 99 block shed, right? That's going to be the next, uh, the next tier up. But this card looks really good. He's going to be an all-purpose, all-world rusher and run stuffer with that athleticism. Now the key to this card: what else can he do? 62 catching is adequate. 88 jumping. 85 change of direction, 92 impact blocking. Does he get any zone at all? Like even decent. Oh, 97 hit power. That's wild. And he gets 80. Oh, he gets a 79 zone. Guys, low key. If you can get a strat card on him that gets a zone of just plus one. That's all you need. Just plus one if it happens to have it. Or if you, you can't power him up, which really sucks. But let's just say, right? That 80 zone with that catching and that hit power would make him a great stand up linebacker. And like, let's say, like, I'm not saying to put him there. He's a pass rusher. But let's say, like, you have to pop him out to a zone for a specific defense. Or you know, they're going pass heavy. Or like, you know, for whatever reason, you don't want him on the line real quick. Or you have to pull him off and user him. He's, he's usable, right? This card's really good. I think he's the, probably the... God, that 97 hit power is insane. He, if he, if he uh, gets... If he, like, breaks free on a running back and gets a free hit on him in the backfield, that's probably a fumble. It's a wild card. Always like Derek Thomas cards. They're always good. They're always, like, Lawrence Taylor-esque. Speaking of Lawrence Taylor, um, you know, we've had some pretty crazy pass rushes already this year. We're gonna get some pretty... We'll probably get a crazy one for uh, for Christmas here. And we have Walter Jones. I mean, not much to say about him. He's, he's a left tackle. He's probably going to be a stand-up, like, straight, solid left tackle. You can't get by. 95 strength is amazing. 94 awareness amazing. 95 pass block. 96 pass block power. 93 pass block finesse. 96 run block. 96 run block power. 94 run block finesse. Now, guys, this is what you call a 96 overall. Not one of those 96s with the all low 90 stats. Like, he is literally all above 93, all below 96, like somewhere in that range. Behind the card, 76 speed, 83 excel. That's pretty great athleticism for him as well. 315 pounds, 6 foot 5. Card's good. 93 lead blocking. It's a great card. It's, it's a great left tackle. Now, do I do I condone spending this money on a left tackle? Probably not. Now, if you're like a butt millionaire and like you just make the best squad ever every time a player drops. That's another that's another instance of that's another instance of uh, an example, right? But for the most people, I don't really condone spending 700 k on a lineman. Derek Thomas, is he worth it? I mean, he's good. Uh, but again, let the prices come down. Don't be the guy that goes and buys it right away unless you're really just competing heavy in weekend league and you need it right now. But I would like to wait uh, personally. Now, let's see what their bases are going for. Walter Jones going for 440, actually. It's actually not horrible. I mean, it's going to drop probably. I mean, this could either be a snipe at the time or it's going to go. If it's at 440, it's not selling. It probably means that he's going to go down more. Uh, let's see how long has he been up for. Uh, time remaining doesn't show. Cool. All right. Um, he's probably been up for a minute or two now. And he hasn't sold it, which leads me to believe that no one wants it even at that price. So I, I imagine he's probably going to come down to like low 400k, maybe high 300k, which is a much better price to buy a lineman at, especially since that's where people were buying the LTDs at, like the 300k range. If guys, better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy from the channel. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and comment down below. If you guys, go check out Underdog Fantasy, head on down below, use code Poodle, and use the link down below for up to a free 100 bucks. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.